Hey everybody. Hey, I'm coming out because I want to share um, the Word of God with you and a video that I'm going to put in the description link. And I've also got a warning that I'm going to share at the end. It won't be too long. All right, so in Hosea chapter 6, it says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he has torn and he will heal us. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain onto the earth. O oh, Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O oh, Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as early dew it goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goes forth. For I desired mercy, and not sacrifice for the knowledge of the God more than burnt offerings. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. There have they dealt treacherously against me. Gilead is a city of them that work iniquity and is polluted with blood. And as troops of robbers wait for a man, so the priests of the murders in the way by consent, for they commit lewdness. I have seen an horrible thing in the house of Israel. There is the whoredom of Ephraim. Israel is defiled. Also, O Judah, he has set a harvest for thee. When I returned, the captivity of my people. Praise be to God. So, my goodness, this chapter is so full of stuff, isn't it? It's amazing how you read the word, and then you've got brothers and sisters who, who share videos and scripture with you, and they have no clue, right? And the Lord is giving you this as well. But I was holding off making the video because there were other things that kept coming up as prophesied so hey we know that there's the alignment right on 1221 of Venus of Jupiter I'm sorry of Jupiter and Saturn all right so we know that in here oh my goodness there's so much in here those who have ears to hear hear what the spirit is saying in Hosea chapter 6 and we know that uh, on the fourth day, right, Lazarus was raised from the dead. Okay, so I'm going to leave you a video that a sister sent me, actually, and it talks about the bride, and it talks about the wedding chamber, and where all the signs are in, the sun and the moon and the stars, right. Okay, so this is amazing, and then he's just put out a few um, newer ones as well. Uh, not that I support or even know a whole lot about this brother other than the studies that he's showing right now uh, that a sister and I have been doing. She's been doing most of the work, obviously. Um, sister Catherine, thank you so much. And the video she shared, Brother Ray, my goodness, had no clue that I was in uh, Hosea today. And he's talking about chapter 2. So, I mean, cha chapter 6, verse 2. And... Of course, thinking about Hanukkah, right? So, I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, because anything can happen at this moment. And I think we all feel in our spirits that something huge is about to happen. And I've talked about Monday, specifically the 14th. And of course, we also have the, the solar eclipse going on. My goodness, we have a December never to re forget again, right? Um, wow. Could we really be home for Christmas? Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, 
read the comments in his videos and you'll see where everybody's at. But he's on the same page as we are as far as looking <laughs> for Jesus as they are in the sun and the moon and the stars. We already see the perplexity on earth. Uh, we keep our eyes focused and on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, because it's faith. That's what he's looking for when he returns. Will he find faith? For we know that we are saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves or our works, least any man boast. Nothing good dwelleth in me but Jesus and and you too. So let's just praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, and let's just get excited. But there is a warning that he had just put out a video a little bit ago, and he said that, and this was amazing because it lined right up to the scripture as well. As he said, for the next four days, starting tomorrow, he feels there, there might be trouble for the bride. In Revelation 3, 10, and 11, uh, as he mentioned about how the enemy was out to try to steal our crowns. But he never mentioned the scripture of Revelation 3, 10, and 11. My goodness, these are all the things we've been talking about, brothers and sisters. And, um, well, just know that Jesus got this. As I say... This is Debbie from Texas saying, peace out, Maranatha. Let's keep looking up because the king is coming.